Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got this nice little uh, folding three bank Corona here that we bought pretty cheap because it's disaster, but it still has the wing nuts on here for a ribbon drive. But the uh, what we're going to show in this video is the drawband replacement, and we're going to hop to that real quick here. Let's flip this this guy around and I already took the panel off here which is just this panel here just give us a little more access here and uh, I already took the, uh, the rope off the pulley here it was attached through this little slot right there we'll deal with that in a second and uh, you can tell that this is where it was broken right here so let's take that off. Let me get some tools over here. So it's got, just got a little. I think it's underneath the spring. I'll go ahead and take the spring off. I noticed uh, these old old machines, these springs, they don't like to stretch like they used to. Got to be careful with them. Okay, let's take this guy off of here like that so we're just going to reattach it in the same spot and let's prepare let's prepare our our new draw band I'm going to be using this stuff right here I guess it's only 30 pound but it's, it's black it's nice and uh, you know it's it will not break trust me so we're just going to do the same length here. We got something to measure it with. Since we have the old one, we'll just do it like that. So let's leave a little bit for the the loop there, and we'll just stretch this around. And we'll leave a little bit for the uh, the little knot that has to be made. Let's trim it right about there. Okay. First thing we'll do is just put a knot in the end, and maybe a, maybe two knots. That one knot is going to be big enough. This is really, I think it's a little thinner than the original. We'll put two knots right on top of each other right there, just like that. Okay, so there's the side that's going to go into the main spring. Let's go back over to the side, and we're going to make a little, a little loop type of a knot type thing. So let's just see if I can do this without using too much of it. long enough. I think it's probably going to be alright. Okay, let's see here. Yep. Okay, so we've got our new draw band. Let's remeasure it and make sure we get the right. Mm, it's 
considerably shorter than it's about an inch shorter than the original I think I'm still gonna try it I think I'm still gonna use it if not we'll, we'll make another one okay so we need to feed this through from here under the carriage and I'm gonna use my handy dandy retractable spring hook and I'm going to I'm run it underneath the carriage here. You can kind of tell where this guide is right here. So that's where we gotta go. So let's run that through. Let's see if we can get that to come up the other side here. I know this is a this might be too big a tool because it's got a very small slot I can fit through, but let's see if I can get it. To, oh, there it goes. See, tip just came out right there. So, so let's pull it through. See if we can get this to go around here. Okay, pull it through. Okay, so that's through. And we can go ahead and put this back. Put this back around the uh, little post here. Or that little screw and put the spring back on here so it doesn't want to fall off. So we'll reattach this spring just like that. So now it's, it's tight there. Okay. Over here, we need to feed this up and then it goes around like this, so that should be pretty easy to, to fetch. So this piece will slip up through here. Let's see if I can fetch it like this. here and then we're going to flip this back down and that's where she shows up down here and then we just need to attach this into the main spring curve it around like this and we're going to stick it in the slot that is right there. But we can't stick it in that slot until the, the mainspring is wound. So let's wind this. There's our there's our slot right there. So let's that's one wind. That's two. There's three. I think it's opened up enough there. We can stick that through there. 
No, it feels like it's still there. It's a mainspring. It's, you got to wind it until it moves away from the edge here. Yeah, it moved away. Let me see if it will go one more turn. It did. So let's try. Let's try sticking it in here. I think I made that not too big. It's going to be a pretty close fit. Force it in that slot. I think I'm going to turn this one more turn. I still think that mainspring is right against the edge there. So, okay, let's try that. Oh yeah, I think that's better. There it goes. So it slipped right in that. And it should there's a little V there, so it just tightens up like that. There we go. We're gonna release the tension and let this well first I want to get this back around this pulley. It's not quite where it belongs. Okay, there we go. My finger on that, put my finger on that, and release this tension a little more with my thumb. And there we go. That should do it. That should be. Oh, it's not quite around the pulley here, so we'll make sure we get that. Straight shot underneath the carriage with that rope. Or the uh, fishing line should be straight shot over. This should work. There she goes. So now we got. We got action. Good deal. And it looks like it's, even though it was about an inch or more less, it looks like it's going to be plenty long enough. So let's move the margin here out of the way and max it out. Make sure it's. Oh yeah. See, there's there's plenty of rope on here still. It's all good. All right. Draw band on a folding Smith Corona is done. It still needs quite a bit of attention, but. All right, Phoenix Starfighter, good day.